Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori and today we're playing Minecraft and we are on the Skyrealm server. Um, it's been a little while since I played. It's good to be back on. Um, I'll show, show you what I did since last time. So I changed this a little bit because of what I got planned today. So we still got our zombies hanging out up there but I made it so they can only spawn Whoa, out of the one side. And then the other thing, the big thing I did was I made a cobble gen right here. So that's the one I was using, the super tall one, right? But I got it, you know, they, everyone was telling me, hey, if you put the hoppers underneath them, that won't push through. So I was able to do that. So now I got a much more com compact cobble gen right here. And I set it up right next to my... Um, uh, right next to the iron golem spawner so that way when I'm when I'm just standing here uh, you know when I'm just grinding at my cobble gen then the the iron golems will spawn because when I was at the other spot the iron golems they wouldn't spawn when I was over there mining so you have to be within like 16 I don't know where I heard that or saw that you have to be within 16 uh, 16 blocks for that spawner to work so and then we got all hooked up here oh and that reminds me seeing those uh seeing those oh, i don't want to pick all this up now really but seeing all those diamonds reminds me to check our uh, tier 7 achievements because that's the last tier 7 achievement Eight out of sixty-four, but that, that's what I checked earlier, and I feel like we've mined diamonds since then. But I wonder if it only counts if it goes straight into your inventory once you've mined it, and that achievement might take a while, because we did some grinding earlier, and that's where we got these six diamonds. But I feel like it hasn't counted those. I don't know that achievement. It might it might be a little while. It might take a little while. Um. Oh, so anyway, but what I'm planning to do today is on the other side of this cobble gen, I'm going to put the blaze spawner. Remember, there was a uh, Cheetah 04 gave us a blaze spawner. Lachlan G. Braun, I think, is the one that suggested we do a, you know, an automated blaze rod farm. So, and I think that's in here. So, he says, hey, saw that you have a blaze spawner, so... Blaze spawn float down into the water stream, go in a small pool of water. The blaze dies of water damage. Oops. And the blaze rods fall into the hopper and then the chest. Hope you like this idea and also you can sell blaze rods at spawn. So we're going to try that today. And we also got some other, so I have all the stuff to do that. Um, and we've got some other, this was from Vanabelle if you'll recall. And then a thank you from Unichin. Can you do a visit, Unichin12345? Thank you. And we can do that. You are on the list, Unichin. It may be a while. There's a lot of folks on the list. And we'll see how that goes. And then um, someone was suggesting that I do um, a nether wart farm because it's worth a lot of money. And, they, and I'm pretty sure the person who suggested it gave me the soul sand and the nether wart. So let's see who that was. Let's see. So the, it was suggested in the YouTube comments that I do a nether wart farm and it was the U name of the U the person's YouTube username is Master Fox. I don't know um, if that's their, um, Sky Realm's name or not? I don't know if that's the same as Unichin one two three four five. I don't think it is, but I'm assuming that Master Fox gave us the Soul Sand and Nether Wart, so we could do the the Nether Wart farm that they suggested. Maybe somebody else had suggested it. And the, and the, but over here, remember, I didn't know that that was Nether Wart, and somebody gave us some before. Uni, so I think maybe was that Unichin. One, two, three, four, five, that gave us this other nether wart. It must be. 
But anyway, so they gave us enough to start um, another wart farm, which is awesome. So we're going to be doing that. Not this episode, but we'll be doing that. And then somebody... Okay, and then Shido 4 gave us a book. Hey, Shido 4 can you accept my friend request? Yes. I also have a gift for a million dollars for you. That's awesome. Thank you. We have to be on at the same time so I can give it to you, so I'll keep a lookout by Cheeto04. So I checked my friend requests, and I didn't see one from Cheeto04, but we'll send Cheeto04 a friend request. And I don't think we've shown how to do that on here, so we'll do that. Send out a... And there's... Uh, I'm going to send a few others because people have wanted... Some folks want to do videos with me. Some folks want to be friends, so we'll do some of that. You is awesome, bro. By the way, I'm Cookie. Nice. And then I, this one's funny on the steak. I saw who kill your dog. It was Noah CH3 Dash. And then it's signed by Cookie. So I didn't even know somebody had killed my dog. I know my dogs, I'm always losing them. They never hang around. There was one here for a while. But it's like I love having dogs, but they just, they disappear. And look what else happened down here. All my sheep. Where's all my sheep? My sheep are just gone. I had sheep. Got lots of chickens. They're cranking out eggs. We'll have to sell those soon. That'll be good. And almost all the pigs are gone too. So we're going to have to get some more sheep. We're going to have to feed those pigs. Should we feed the pigs right now? If we have, I'll tell you what, if we have some carrots, which we do, we'll feed the pigs right now. And then we'll get some more pigs going on. Here you go, pigs. Here you go, pigs. Be happy. Be happy, pigs. Alright. So, now we should get some baby pigs out of that deal. And that'll be good. So, I don't know if I'm going to move all my chests again, man. I moved them all over here so they would be by my <laughs> by my deal. But, I don't, gosh, I don't think I'm going to move them all again. I probably will eventually once they start to bug me. Okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and I think let's do some friend requests. So, these are the ones I was thinking of doing here. Ray plays YT. Cheeto 4. Ray plays was said he wanted to give me some Sky God stuff, which would be awesome. Monster Head 3. Chaotic Volts. These two we're both talking about. Maybe wanting to sh do some videos. I should have whispered that to myself or something. But anyway, we can do slash F. It's gonna pull up the um, that menu. Okay. So anyway, we're going to try to do some friend requests. Pending friend requests. Delete friends. Add a new friend. Raise plays underscore YT. Okay, that worked. Let's make sure we got Cheeto for his name right. Okay. And we'll do another one. Oh, Cheeto 4 is already our friend. Okay, good. We already did that. See, I don't know why. It's like I have to click on him before. There's Cheeto 4. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sweet. He looks like a cheetah. <laughs> that makes good sense. Okay. Um, Monster Head 3. Alright. One more. Chaotic Volts YT. So, Cadig Vaults YT is not accepting friend requests this time. That's alright. So anyway, that's how you do a friend request. Do slash F, and that pulls up your friends menu. I don't know why I have to click on these before I can see them. So those are our friends. I don't have very many friends right now. You can view them. You can see your pending friend requests. You can delete. You can add new. You can toggle your privacy on and off. All right, so let's go ahead and here. I just move that, but 
I want to um, visit Vanabel. because she wants us to check out. Remember, she was saying I watched your videos, um, and I just watched where you said you about the cocoa bean farm. You don't like using water, but you should check out my cocoa bean farm in my realm. She's proud of her cocoa bean farm. I assume it's a girl with the name Vanabelle. So let's do that. Let's let's do let's visit Vanabelle and check out her cocoa bean farm. Oh, look at how nice this realm looks. See, I'm thinking about. Oh wow, look up there. Holy moly. That is a huge, like, chunk. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking about doing something nice like that on mine. Look at how pastoral it looks, you know? And one of the realms we visited was like that. It looked like real, like, Minecraft city. You know how mine's all just, like, cobblestone? So, wow, she's got a lot of cobble for sale. She's selling 64 for her. And she's got a dog. Poople. <laughs> Hello, Poople. Um... Just tons of cobble for sale. I need to, another. Look at all these dogs. That's awesome. Do they all have names? Chewbarka, Bilbo, Cat, <laughs> Poopsie, Salvador Doggy. Oh my god, these names are hilarious. Cujo, Harry Potter, <laughs> Santa Paws, Bark Twain. Gosh, that is hilarious, Vanabelle. When he got here, nothing. And what does this thing do? All right, we're looking for the cocoa bean farm, though. Pretty flowers. It's very nice. Real pastoral. Sherlock Bones. Gosh, these dog names are hilarious. I can't quite read that one. Prince of Barkness, of course. Of course, Prince of Barkness. Wood, block junk, cocoa ingots. I bet she's got a bunch of cocoa. She's proud of her cocoa bean farms. So, this place looks nice. This is one of the nicer realms I've seen just as far as the aesthetic, you know what I mean? Everyone's got their pet slimes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Very nice. Can't get into anything with a door. It's not my realm. Alright. And what is this? Some kind of something. Gosh, I don't even know what all is going on with this stuff trip wires and sticky pistons oh my some kind of there's a okay so this is a pig spawner so we had one like this at a certain point but then the pigs were stacking so we had to do something different so what is that is that gonna like shoot out arrows into him or something and kill him He's still burning. Why is he still burning? Nope, he stopped burning. So she's got a door on there. So she can go in and kill him by hand, I think. Yeah. I understand. Oh, it was really threw us for a loop when they put in that new, uh, when they did the update where all of a sudden the animals were stacking ch her chickens. Alright, let's go upstairs. La, la, la. Okay, what do we got on this level? Is this a work in progress? I don't know what that is. Whoa, potatoes. Yeah, we got rid of our potato farm. Oh, look, interesting. So she's holding the water back with pistons. Very nice. I like all the wood. It's beautiful. Dark wood. Alright, let's go up into this madness. Ooh, okay, okay. Look at this. Holy moly. Now that is a cocoa bean farm right there. That is the real deal. I don't even know... It's such a massive scale. 
So clearly you don't need light to grow the cocoa beans. That is awesome. People really do some impressive stuff. Okay. So. Boy, it's got to be a lot of work to replant this thing. I would be falling off constantly. Have you ever seen me? That's me, right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go up another layer. So it's got to be that water flowing down. Okay, so she's into using the pistons to hold the water back. So these pistons are holding the water back. So then do you have to reset all the water every time too? No, no you don't. You don't have to reset it every time because it just is it's a block, it just stays in place and then flows down. Gosh, that's awesome. So there's got to be like see all this redstone. Okay. So every so often she, I, I feel like you could use repeaters and just have one lever, but she's going to run along and flip these levers. She's going to release those pistons. That water is going to drop down and strip the strip the cocoa beans right off of the right off of the poles there wow that's beautiful that is a beautiful system nice I can see why you're proud of that Vanabelle I can see why you would be proud of that setup can we see in here no. yeah that's awesome Okay, I wonder if we can, can we get down below and see what's down there. Boom, I don't know. Okay, there was another way down here. So we got carrots going on, cactuses. What is this? Is this more cocoa beans? So this looks like another cocoa bean setup that's not actually running. Another cocoa bean setup, I think. It's just not going yet. Very impressive. I like uh, I like your realm. Automated sugar cane. This must be her um, mob spawner. Let's see if there's anything further down. Gosh, there is another. Oh. Oh, okay. Well. All right. I think we saw all that we had to see there. So let's just head on home, but very nice realm. Alright, so we're going to put our spawner over here, and I don't know how much room blazes need to spawn. I didn't do any research or anything. So I'm just going to build it very similar to this one. Um, although, it's like I built, you know, everyone was building these chests that are three tiers deep for their iron golem spawners and I'm just not I'm not building it three tiers deep for the blaze I mean I'm not I'm just not generating that many iron golems right now I don't think I'm gonna be generating that many blazes so I'm just gonna make one tier of chests for the blaze and I want to build one space in between those so it's gonna be here And, okay, so it needs to be nine whites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. See, so this way when I'm mining, I'll be generating blazes and others. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron golems. And then we're going to make it to where it's like... We need water to flow, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
let's just throw some stuff in the water and watch it go down. Make sure it falls through. Boom. Like a charm. Now we just gotta get in here, put our blaze spawner in, call it good, I hope it works. does not appear to be killing the blazes. Well, we're definitely generating blazes. That much is clear. Oh, Lachlan G. Braun. What have I done wrong? Okay, now, the question is, how can I make alterations here without everything going sideways? Problem is they are not dying. You can see that, right? You can see how these blazes are <laughs> not dying. Okay, so we're gonna try something a little different. I, I might, I think we might be able to drown them. But I'm not real sure. So I'm gonna make it to where they fall in and go deeper. I'm also wondering what if I replace these, gosh, I don't think it should matter, but do I need to replace these with cubes instead of paint, with blocks instead of paints? Let's go get some blocks.
is working. They're dying. They're dying. Where's my blaze rods? Are they dropping blaze rods? That is the question. Two blaze rods in my inventory. Rods. Anyway, we can build some of this back again. So I come in here and Sort of. If I block the water up here at this level, so soften them up, I guess, with the. I just really wish they were dropping their blaze rods. But the examples I looked at, they weren't actually killing them with the water. It's like they were softening them up with the water. Dangerous working with blazes. I just wish that they were just dropping them. Doesn't it seem like they should just drown and drop them? But maybe it's like, you know, how fire burns up some stuff. So maybe it's like the water is burning up the blaze rods. So I really need to get the signs back in along this level here. So they drop down. For now, the blazes drop, they land in the water, the water makes them come down to here, and we kill them, the blaze rod drops, then they would go into the hoppers and go into the chests. So, if anyone can tell me a better way to do this, because you know what I'm shooting for, I want it to be fully automated. I don't want to have to kill them. I don't want to have to stand here with my sword and, and attack them. to be fully automated but still get the blazer on you know what I mean 
so if anyone can give me an idea or maybe point me towards a good simple video because I just want him to drop in the water, drown, pick out my blaze rods, but clearly I'm doing something wrong or else it doesn't work that way. Because this is fun and I get lots of blaze rods this way. Maybe we should get a stack and see what it sells for. But it's not efficient like I want it to be. You know what I mean? A stack of blaze rods. So let's go sell them and see how much a stack of blaze rods is worth. So we sell those to the miscellaneous guy. Sell price a dollar. Really? Buy price four dollars only worth it. How can they only be worth a dollar? Those blazes are so mean. Hmm. I, don't, I don't even want to sell them for a dollar. I'm going to save them. It was a lot of work. $64. I had no idea. Alright. Okay, well that was a little bit of a... Let's get in here. This is a little bit crazy today. And, uh... So if anyone has any better ideas as far as how I can build this blaze spawner and make it fully automated, go ahead and drop a comment and let me know. Um... But I, just, I can't believe how little blaze rods sell for. <laughs> but in any event, we have our, our blaze uh, generator. We got our blaze spawner and a little blaze killing area. Uh, so go ahead and, uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, <laughs> click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to know when I post a new video, make sure to click the little bell icon to turn notifications on. And until next time, take it easy.